Hi, Christian here from Sac City Corvette. Um, today I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, the barbell for the LS motor and a new product that we've developed. Uh, but first I want to show you how the oil flows and how the barbell works on the LS motor for those that don't know. The oil comes down the side of the block here from the oil pump and when it gets down here the barbell when it's installed is plugging right here forcing the oil to flow down to the oil filter. This motor doesn't run an oil filter here because it's been modified but most LS motors will have an oil filter here that the oil turns and goes down into the oil filter, comes back up, and when it comes up here, it goes by this shaft right here that can actually be kind of restrictive if you're, you're running, you know, high performance stuff. So what we've developed is a, I guess you could call it a high performance barbell. It has a, um, a very small shaft on it so that it, it's a lot less restrictive. Um, so the oil can just flow right by it. And then one of the other features um, that fixes a problem here with the factory one is the factory one fits very loose. Oil can bypass this when it's when it's down, when it's hooked into the block there, where it's supposed to be plugging the oil and forcing it to go here, unfiltered oil can actually blow by the by the barbell and go directly to your cam bearings. That twenty thousandths of an inch or so that this uh, barbell is loose is uh, approximately five hundred microns. Um, your oil filter filters down to around 25 microns. Our uh, high-performance barbell here, not only does it, is it a lot less restrictive, um, but it also fits really snug with about a one-thousandth clearance, which is only 25 microns, like what your filter has. You can see the, the hole in there where the oil is going to come up from your filter and go by this little shaft here so you can see how less restrictive our barbell is. Um, along with not uh, letting oil just blow by that's unfiltered. You know, it's this here is a lot more restrictive. Hardly anything will get by it. Uh, another nice feature is uh, we have this high temperature Vite and O-ring in it. Um, something that's really cool is that when you're when you install it, Whenever you have to remove it, a lot of people are asking, how do you remove the plastic when you got to kind of dig at it and pull it out? Ours has a, you just use a standard quarter 20, any bolt that you have laying around, it's a quarter 20, screw it in, pop it right out. Um, so this is our uh, high performance barbell that you can find at SacCityCorvette.com. Um they do make a difference. People tend to overlook these little barbells, but as I showed you, oil, unfiltered oil can go right, go right past them, right up to your bearings, up to somewhere around 500 microns, which is pretty big, considering that your oil filter does around 20, 25 or 20 microns, depending on what type of filter. Um, so this is probably a worthwhile investment. Also, you, the only thing you'd ever have to replace when you rebuild is the Vite and O-ring, which you can get at SacCityCorvette.com. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, go to SacCityCorvette.com and uh, pick one of these babies up. Thank you.